good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a bibliography for your research. Now all a bibliography is, is a list of sources that you're using in your research. Now it's not just a simple list that you would write down, it's formatted in a specific way. And today we're going to learn about the MLA format and we're going to make this process easier using a citation machine called EasyBib. And today I will show you how to use EasyBib and how you can format your bibliography on a Google Doc, uh, whatever you're using to type it up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this first part, we're actually going to learn how to use EasyBib. Now, like I said before, there are many ways that you can format a bibliography. We have things like APA, Chicago, but for specifically, uh, specifically for this tutorial, uh, we're going to learn how to use MLA format. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to gather all of your sources that you're going to use in your research. For this, uh, let's pretend that I'm doing a project on the Great Depression. I found this history.com website, and then I found this uh, Britannica article on the Great Depression. And I'm going to use this for my research on the Great Depression. Now, when you create a bibliography, for each of your sources you will need information like the author's name, the date the article was published, you were going to need the URL but we're going to use a machine online that's going to help us do all of this so that we're not going to have to do it manually uh, manually it'll do it for us and it's called easy bib so here's easy bib all you're going to do is go to easybib.com you're going to click create citations And each citation is going to be each part of your list. It's going to be each source that you're using in your research. Now this will pop up. It says choose your source. Now in your research, you can use things like websites, books, journals, advertisements, the Bible, blogs. But for this, we're going to click on website. You'll see it's going to tell us to paste in our URL. So we're going to go to our first website from history.com. We're going to copy the URL and then paste it into this box. When you're done, you're going to press search. And then this will pop up to double check uh, that this is the correct website that we were trying to look for. And it is. So we're going to click site. And then it's going to review for you all the information that you're going to need for this citation, right? We have an article title, URL, website title, date access. Everything that we're going to need for this citation is right here. It's even going to let me double check to make sure I have uh, all the information that I need. So this will pop up, right? And I can see if I'm missing any information, such as the author's name. And I know that this website doesn't have uh, a a, uh, an author on there except for history.com editor so I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to click complete citation and then this will pop up. Okay, This is the citation that I would have originally had to do manually but EasyBib did it for me automatically. But we have two sources here so I'm going to make sure I get the other source as well. So you're going to click create citation again copy and paste the URL for our second article online from this Britannica website. You're click website, paste it, and you're going to click search, site, remember it's going to review all the information for us, click continue, and then I can manually put in information that's missing. So I see here that there's an author missing, so I'm going to go back to the article. And I'm just going to scan this article to see if I can figure out who the author is. And look, it says Richard H. Pels. That's the author. So I'm going to type that information in where it says author. The 
There's also a missing uh, publication date, so I'm going to go back and see if I can find when it was published. Published just means when they posted it on the internet. I don't see that information, so you know what? I'm going to leave that blank. Sometimes it's okay to leave stuff blank if you can't find it. I'm going to click Complete Citation. And there you go. Here's our other uh, source that we're using in our research. Okay, so, so far I have two. Okay, that's the first part of using EasyBib. And next I will show you how to actually format the bibliography on a Google Doc and paste uh, these two sources that we put together using EasyBib. Okay, so here's the last part of our uh, tutorial on how to create a bibliography. And in this part, part two, we're actually going to type up our bibliography on a Google document. So as you can see here, I've already opened up a blank Google document, and this is where I'm gonna put my list of sources, right? Formatted MLA. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna title this bibliography. I'm going to make this uh, a bigger font. I'm going to bold it. And then I'm going to center align it. So that's right in the middle of the page. Now make sure you center align it because we want this to be formatted in a specific way. Okay, when you're done, you're just going to go down. You're going to go back to the left instead of having it um, center aligned. You're going to unbold it. And now we're going to go back to our citations that EasyBib has already done for us automatically. So here's our two sources that we found from History.com and Britannica. You're going to click Copy All. We're going to go back to our bibliography page and we are going to paste. Now here's um, our sources, right? from each of our websites, but our sources need to have something called a hanging indent. And I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna highlight all of your text to make sure there's a space between them, and there is. You're gonna go to Format, Align and Indent. You're gonna go down to Indentation Options. You're going to go down to special indent and you're going to go down to hanging and you're going to click apply. Okay. And there we are. We have our hanging indent. And so we can see that this bibliography is properly formatted and I'll walk you through how to do that again. So you're going to go, remember, we're going to highlight go to format. Align and indent, indentation options, special indent, hanging, apply. And you should see here, you can see that there's a space here between the first line and the other lines. That's called a hanging indent. Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope you learn how to properly create a bibliography page.